You made it. <laughs> I thought you were about to miss out on a moment of history. No way! After all our hard work, how could we miss out on the final celebration, right? <laughs> I smell it too. <laughs> For Oleg and I, not to mention the other adults, reopening the passageway means rediscovering old ways of living. A return to normality. Survival is no longer the top of the agenda. But for the children who were born into this era, who grew up in this isolation, this will be a new life altogether. Once you've tasted freedom, it's difficult to accept a life of separation and isolation. Those of us whose childhoods were marred by tragedy, we must strive to do better for the next generation. I'm sorry. Here I am talking your ear off again. This is a day to remember. We should welcome it with smiles. If you have time, talk to the folks here. Every one of them will tell you about their excitement. Then when you're ready, let's go home. Finally, finally I can get back to supervising the cable cars. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in those mines. Ah, it's you, the liberators of the underworld. You're the first passengers we've had since being sealed off. <laughs> It'll be my honor to get you to the surface in one piece. Relax, relax. In all my 20 years on the job, there were only ever, uh, anyway, none of them were serious. <clears throat> so, ready to climb board? <laughs> Brothers, sisters, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, gather round! The cable car passenger service is about to restart! Whoa! <laughs> Look at the big blue ceiling! <laughs> That's not a ceiling, Hook. That's the sky. <laughs> so this is... the overworld? The air here smells... different. <laughs> Less rust and geomero particles floating around. Take a deep breath, children. This is what freedom tastes like. I never thought I'd live to see the administrative district again. All those years. We've been through a lot, Natasha. <sighs> You're right, Oleg. It's funny. The moment I boarded the cable car, my mind was filled with everything I wanted to do on the surface. But now, I just want to sit down, zone out, and watch the people coming and going. And let the day just Pass me by. <laughs> Enjoy the peace and quiet, Natasha. We earned it. Huh, it's Japard! Is he here to meet us? He's still on duty. <laughs> he must have recovered quickly. Let's go say hi! Welcome back to the administrative district, Trailblazers. Trailblazers? First time anyone's called us that on this planet! <laughs> the Architects think it's only right that we should address you properly. Outsiders is hardly fitting anymore. Please allow me to apologize again for what happened in the Restricted Zone. You were only trying to help. I should have trusted Serval's judgment. Thanks for understanding. Lady Branya's inaugural address will begin soon. She asked me to pass on her invitation to you. Uh-huh. That's sooner than I expected. Is she well enough to... Not really. But Lady Branya insisted on delivering the speech as soon as possible. She wants the people to understand what happened. 
The address will be held at Everwinter Monument. I hope the three of you can find time to attend. Uh, uh, excuse me, are you Captain Oleg? What? I didn't think anyone would still remember my name after all this time. Of course we remember! Every young guard knows about your courageous exploits. Oh? Which ones might they be? The time I finished off that rampaging prowler with just three bullets? Or when I defended the outpost from monsters for six days straight without food or water? I haven't heard of either of them, actually. But I'd love to hear all about them. <laughs> sure. In which case, I'll cut my walk short and tell you all the grisly details. I don't know if you've ever had that feeling. When you stop and look back on the things you've done, and wonder at all the obstacles you've overcome, the strength you've displayed. Start to doubt yourself and wonder if you've lost that drive. If everything were to happen again, would you still stand strong? You do? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's good to know someone in this world feels the same way as me. I haven't been able to sit back once over the past 10 years. A moment's negligence could have brought wildfire crashing down. And the underworld would have been beyond saving. Staying vigilant wasn't the issue. It was the not knowing whether I'd ever be able to let my guard down again. No matter what anyone says, I believe your arrival was the reward for my long vigil. Thank you, Trailblazer. Super, super big steel monster just ran past! I don't think that's a monster. Mr. Sparrow's database has information about it. It's called... Hmm... I can't remember. Don't worry about the name! The important thing is I saw what it can do. It has a huge appetite and swallows people whole! And it just so happens to be the mole's next target. <laughs> we'll defeat the iron monster and save the people in its tummy. Um, I don't think that's how it works. Look, there's a crowd gathering over there. Is the address starting soon? Hmm, looks like it. Branya hasn't arrived yet, though. Let's find somewhere to wait. Guards! Formation! Whoa! This must be it! Citizens of Bellabog, I kindly ask for your attention. Lady Branya Rand's inaugural address will begin shortly. Please remain orderly. People of Bellabog, hear me! Today we gather here to celebrate our victory, but it was a sacrifice made by a mighty guardian that delivered us this opportunity. She dispelled an evil that cost us 700 years of suffering. And in the process, she paid the ultimate price. The sacrifice of Kokolia Rand ushers in a new chapter. The blizzard beyond the walls will die away, and the offensives of our Silvermain guards will begin to contain the Fragmentum's advance. In the far north, I witnessed with my own eyes the struggle between the late Supreme Guardian and the evil power that sought to destroy us. In her last moments, the Supreme Guardian told me her greatest regret. The order to seal off the Underworld from the Overworld. With the passage of time, she gradually came to realize the consequences of that decision. Of 
Hilda tortured with guilt. She could not undo the damage. In her final moments, she wanted us to mark the Stellaron's end by reuniting Bellabog. Overworlders and underworlders must embrace the dawn of a new age. Together. People of the underworld. I dare not ask for your forgiveness. I now know the reality of your decade of suffering. But I want us to work together. We know that without your perseverance and hard work, Bellabog will not recover its former glory. And the seed of civilization will not be preserved. And on that note, I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to a few guests of the city. Most of you were not aware of their arrival. But it is thanks to them that our world now flourishes with hope. They made me realize that while we remain focused on preserving the ground beneath our feet, we should not forget to look up into the sky. I firmly believe that with the determination of everyone, our world, the world the Trailblazers call Yarilo Six, will no longer be alone among the stars. But before we accomplish that goal, I humbly ask you to follow me into the future. I, Branya Rand, the 19th Guardian of Bellabog, hereby take my oath. Branya, we're back. March, Don Hung, and you. It's wonderful you made it to the address. Sorry, I know the invitation was very last minute, but I needed to get the news out as soon as possible. The longer people waited, the more rumors started to swirl. The situation risked spinning out of control. Yes, I'm fine now, don't worry. My mother... She tried to force the voice of the Stellaron into my head. It was a terrible feeling. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. That was some speech, Branya. If I had to talk like that in front of a huge crowd, I'd be shaking head to toe. It was all just a bunch of palatable lies. I hope you never have a similar experience, March. prefer her to be honest with the people. But I also want to preserve their hope. Don Hung, wanna talk about Mr. Yang's findings? Hmm. Allow me to explain. Which means... The Fragmentum has already taken root by this point. Even though the Stellaron is sealed, we won't be able to reverse the damage immediately. No, no need for apologies. You've gone out of your way to save this world. You nearly lost your life. I have no right to ask for more. Besides, I agree with Mr. Yang. Ultimately, the fate of Bellabog is in the hands of its own people. In that case, as a leader, I must give you a promise of the same weight. We will hold out with everything we have until the day you trailblazers return. Even if it takes another 700 years, the children of Yarilo Six will look up to the sky with hope in their hearts. So long, my friends. 
May the preservation bless your journey. Congrats! That was one heck of a first trailblazing expedition! Worth celebrating, I'd say. Five. Two and a half? What? That run of the mill, huh? Hmm. My scoring criteria are different from yours. <sighs> anyway, we should be asking you. Any thoughts you want to share? We should take some more photos before we head back to the express. Let's go! One more round in the administrative district. 